hello everyone welcome back to my new lecture of the control engineering we were discussing about the boat plot problems already i have made one problem in both languages uh, in english language as well as in hindi language so that you can understand the concepts very better over there whatever the convenient convenient language you have so that uh, you will understand the concepts fully over there okay so that was my man module to upload the video in the two languages right so today i will upload again in the english language so that uh, all the students can understand the concepts over there okay so second problem we will take in this particular video so a unity feedback control system has g of s h of s is equal to k upon s into s plus 4 into s plus 10 so this is the transfer function given okay so draw the board plot and find the value of k you have to find k value in this for which the system is marginally stable marginally stable means when the gain crossover frequency is equal to the phase crossover frequency later on when we draw the board plot graph you will understand easily what does this marginal stability means okay as in the previous lecture itself i have explained the uh, board plot graph over there so it will be somehow better in today's video that you will understood the concept very well okay so don't worry about uh, the steps only the three steps you have to follow so that uh, you will get 20 marks in the video examination okay so just to be concentrated for a while so that i can complete the explanation part uh, in this particular video so step one is obtain the standard time constant form or g of s h of s is equal to k upon s into s plus 4 s plus 10 so you have to make this equation in the standard form standard form already i have explained in the previous lecture so this is the standard form in 1 plus t1 format you have to make the particular equation okay in the k term numerator term there are no zeros at all so only k is present okay so no need to do uh, anything with the k over here next is in the denominator you should make it like this s raised power m is already existed here s raised power 1 is here okay so this is a pole at origin 1 plus t a times s this term i have to make in terms of 1 plus t1 t1 times s over here okay so let me do that particular thing in this uh, formula so k upon s this 4 i am taking common from this particular term so what i will left with inside that is 1 plus s upon 4 when you just multiply it 4 into 1 is 4 and this 4 into s by 4 4 4 cancel you will get s so you will get the whole term again so i am taking 4 common whatever the term you are taking common you just divide that number with uh, this particular s okay then i am taking 10 as common whatever i will get 1 plus s upon 10 okay so then k upon 4 into 10 is 40 k by 40 divided by s into 1 plus s by 4 will remain same and 1 in 1 plus s by 10 so uh, this k by 40 i am uh, replacing with k dash over here okay divided by s into 1 plus 0.25 s so 1 by 4 is 0.25 and 1 by 10 is uh, 0.1 so 1 plus 0.1 now now i am getting with the uh, 1 plus t1 times s this 0.05 is t, nothing but t and 0.1 is nothing but t so <clears throat> in that particular format i have to make the uh, given equation okay this is the first step the next step is discussion of factors so these are the factors k dash s into 1 plus uh, t1 times s 1 plus t2 times s like that you have to discuss these factors so k is already unknown in the equation so no need to worry about k then 1 by s so this 1 upon s is the pole at origin pole at origin straight line of slope minus 20 decibels per decade so already in the previous video i have told you you have to remember one chart okay this chart you have to remember so that you will get uh, the values for the one one by s raised power m you will get minus 20 decibels uh, in this case m is one over here okay already so m is one s raised power one accordingly we will get the values minus 20 decibels per decade <coughs> so these values you have to remember dear friends this chart uh, whole chart you have to remember so whole chart you have to remember then only you can proceed for the problems okay i hope you will remember it you are the engineers one night engineers or uh, uh, topper engineers so you can do it no, you can do that straight line of slope minus 20 decibels per decade whatever the slopes you will get first step is you have to intersect those slope lines with the zero decibel line at one radian per second frequency okay later on i will show you in the graph also okay first of all let me tell you what is the zero line and this is zero line as reference line in the board plot right then you have to uh, meet these slopes whatever the slopes you will get in the next steps you have to meet those slopes at zero decibel line at one radian per second frequency this is one radian frequency 
this is the frequency line and this is the reference line zero reference line these slopes you have to meet with the meet with the uh, what we call zero reference line at one radian per second always you have to remember this okay i hope this is clear then uh, this is all about the 1 by s term that is pole at origin now another term is 1 upon 1 plus 0.25 s now it is another term simple pole 1 upon 1 plus 0.25 s so what is the t term here that is 0.25 so t is equal to 0.25 seconds so you know already frequency is equal to reciprocal of the time period 1 upon t which is equal to 1 divided by t value that is 0.25 1 divided by 0.25 is nothing but 4 radian per second this is the another term now the last term but not least so it is 1 upon 1 plus 0.1 s okay we have to discuss now this term <clears throat> so let me show you now so this is your uh, first of all you have to take the slope for the uh, simple pole the straight line of slope it is also uh, also the minus 20 decibels per decade from the chart itself okay for omega c is greater or equal to 4 radians how 4 radians we are already getting it here 4 radians per second that is why i am writing here 4 radian per second then simple pole 1 upon 1 plus 0 1 s uh, it is the another term which i already show you which we have to discuss 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.1 s so t is in this case 0 0.1 0 0.1 omega c is 1 by t that is 1 upon t value is 0 0.1 when you put you will get 10 radians per second you can write down the straight line of slope minus 20 decibels per decade for omega c is greater or equal to 10 then whatever the slopes you are getting in the above steps you have to make a chart that is resultant slope table uh, in which uh, first column factor is there frequency range is the another sl uh, resultant slope decibels per decade is the third line so for k k is unknown already and you have to make sure that you will make uh, blank lines in the k uh, format just because uh, frequency does not range with respect to the k, uh, k term okay resultant is also zero in this term you have to make a uh, blank line then one upon s we have discussed 1 upon s term that is this 1 upon s pole at origin so what is the slope value minus 20 so minus 20 you write down in this resultant slope column then range range always starts from 0 to another term what is the respective term and uh, omega is first 0 then is 4 okay i can write down omega c is less greater or equal to 0 less or equal to 4 this uh, this is the way in which you can find ranges of the frequencies so minus 20 is the slope then 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.2 s uh, it is ranges you have to take this minus 20 here then add the current value of the particular pole so that is minus 20 decibels per decade so uh, minus 20 minus 20 you will get minus 40 as result and slope and what is the frequency range this is 4 here and next term is 10 radians so you can write omega is greater or equal to 4 less or equal to 10 like that you can find the range okay next is 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.1 s this term we have discussed and uh, range later on we will calculate so first minus 40 you take here then the current is minus 20 slope okay so current slope is minus 20 so minus 40 minus 20 is equal to minus 60 these are the slopes so range will be uh, this is 10 radian per second another term is nothing so you can take infinity it always ends at infinity frequency always ends at infinity and always starts from zero so uh, omega c is greater or equal to 10 here and less or equal to infinity this is the chart first uh, first chart over here okay and second step is completed now for this third step you have to calculate the phase angle phi so that is g of j omega h of j omega whatever the given function is you have to replace simply s by h uh, sorry j omega here is actually g of s h of s so s i am replacing with j omega and j omega okay the given term is k upon uh, s into s plus 0 0.5 uh, s 1 plus 0 0.1 s so simply replacing s by j omega j omega in this particular term okay you will get the phi value so this is the calci part actually <clears throat> in the previous lecture i have shown you how to calculate this phi okay so you will get this value phi is equal to minus 90 by calculating this in the calculator part okay so first of all let me show one part here so that you can do the another calculations <coughs> so you are getting here uh, phi is equal to minus 90 minus 10 inverse of 0 0.25 j sorry omega and minus 10 inverse of 0 0.1 omega okay so then you have to take these omega values you don't know you have to take 0 0.1 0 0.2 so that we can plot the graph for it 
if you are not knowing how to calculate these values go for my previous video i have explained it very well over there so you will get these values 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.5 and respect to angles you will get okay and you will get phase crossover frequency in this setup also uh, which is equal to 6.3 radians per second okay this is all about the board plot problem now the next last step is the plotting the board plot over there okay so try to understand this board plot dear friends first of all draw the magnitudes and then accordingly the phase okay this is the phase in degrees phase angle in degrees and this is magnitude in decibels you are getting magnitudes as a minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 whatever is the highest value you start from that as you already know uh, that uh, the negative slopes whenever you take you have to mark here positive value suppose uh, if we are getting negative slopes like minus 60 minus 40 minus 20 and we are getting it in this problem so you have to mark from positive 60 40 20 i have discussed it in the previous lecture that this is called the negative to slope okay so you have to met these slopes at zero reference line and one radian per second frequency okay so this is the semi log sheet this is your 0 0.1 it always starts from 0 0.1 then 10 raised power 0 is nothing but 1 and 10 raised power 1 is 10 then 100 1000 uh, and 10,000 like that it will go on okay so first step is mark these uh, slopes at zero uh, the zero reference line zero decibels and one radian per second frequency okay this is the first step then what are the magnitudes we are getting you have to plot them okay so in this chart you have to use these two charts which we are getting here so what is the slope for uh, that is minus 20 okay what is the frequency range 0 to 4 so you have to proceed this line from 0 to 4 okay so this is your 20 line draw this line from 0 to 4 4 is here okay so 4 is here up to this you have to mark then the next is 40 line okay so see here this is your 40 line if this is uh, like this you have to proceed it with this particular point up to this 4 from 4 to 10 is the another range okay in the box you can refer so from 4 to 10 you have to draw the line that is your 40 magnitude line then 60 line same way you can proceed this is your 60 line draw a parallel like this then from 10 to infinity you have to draw 10 to infinity this is your whole magnitude plot how to draw this okay then phase angle plot then you have to use another chart that is your this particular chart so omega phi whatever the degrees you are getting 0 0.1 minus 90 92 0 0.2 minus 94 you have to mark these points first so see here 0 0.1 that is 92 degree 0 0.2 96 degree like that you will proceed mark these points then draw the smooth curve okay this is your smooth curve and this completes your phase angle plot then in the question itself it is given that phase uh, crossover frequency is equal to gain crossover frequency just because the system is marginally stable so first of all gain uh, phase crossover frequency already we have calculated in this stuff that is phase crossover frequency is equal to 6.3 radian per second so draw this line here is the uh, suppose 6 radian per second okay this is your 1 this is your 2 2, uh, 2 3 4 5 6 okay it is mentioned also here 2 3 4 5 6 so 6.32 is your phase crossover frequency draw this straight line from this point so up to this point uh, up to zero reference line okay so uh, as in the question it is uh, telling that uh, it is marginally stable so when is the gain crossover frequency equal to phase crossover frequency the definition of the gain crossover frequency is that where the magnitude plot is matting with the zero reference line okay so if i am observing here the magnitude plot is uh, matting here so that is your gain crossover frequency but uh, in the question it is uh, saying that it is marginally stable means when phase crossover frequency is equal to gain crossover frequency so this point should be up to here okay then only your uh, question will be satisfied over here that is gain crossover frequency should be equal to phase crossover frequency so you have to shift to this magnitude plot uh, up to the up to this zero reference line see here so your magnitude plot is like this just proceed it and draw parallel line one parallel line okay then for this line draw a parallel line okay then for this line draw a parallel line okay now your magnitude plot is shifted to the uh, zero reference line now here i can say that the magnitude plot is matting the gain cross sorry phase cross over frequency so only at this point your gain cross over frequency should be equal to the uh, phase cross over frequency so how much is the shift now you have to calculate this okay uh, this is the 
zero to twenty uh, if i am calculating each line consists of four units four 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 okay so i am getting here one two three four five almost five lines i am getting here so five into four sorry this is one two three four five five point five five point five into four you will get 22 decibels okay so you have to write here for marginally stable uh, stability for marginal stability phase crossover frequency is equal to gain crossover frequency it is mentioned in question so for which the magnitude plot must shift from a to b so it should be shifted from a to b point so 20 log 10 k dash we have to take okay so this is always you have to take in the logarithmic scale if this is k dash in the equation you have to take 20 log 10 k dash is equal to this shift 22 decibels from this particular formula you will get k dash value k dash is equal to 12.58 in the calculator okay then k by foot you know already k dash is equal to uh, k by 40 in the first step itself see k by 40 is your k dash so uh, k by 40 is equal to 12.58 you will get k value as 503.2 so this was in the question mentioned that board plot and find the value of k okay so for which the system is stable uh, so this is all about board plot problem i hope this is clear to you all people so make sure you will share it with your friends also and at last uh, you, you can also mention the scale uh, y x is uh, how much you are taking so one unit i am taking as 20 decibels in the magnitude plot and phase one unit is equal to 30 degree i am taking see here 90 30 is 120 150 like that and in this 20 is the gap so you can write down the scale also in the examination when you write this problem mention this board plot and problem the function transfer function you mention like this okay so that the evaluator can understand uh, which type of problem is this over there okay so i hope uh, my dear friends this is uh, the easy explanation as per my own uh, what we call